Hello and welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. This week we're going to stay on the topic of pressurization systems and give you a quick explanation of overpressure relief and the options you have available to achieve this. If you're wanting a broader overview of what pressurization systems are, then you're in luck as this was the topic of last week's video. I've dropped a link to that below and if you're watching on YouTube, I'll add a card as well. So firstly, what is overpressure relief and why do we need it? To give a simple overview, when we're pumping air into a zone in order to protect it, we run the risk of raising the air pressure so high that the stair or lobby door is forced shut against the jam, preventing occupants from escaping. That's what overpressure relief is there for. It's to stop the air pressure in the protected zone getting too high. The door must be able to be opened with no more than 100 newtons of force at the door handle. The overpressure requirements have been set with this in mind. So how is overpressure relief achieved? There are three main options, which I'll explain now. Option one, is to use a counterbalance flap valve or barometric damper. And the idea here is the vent remains shut until the pressure exceeds the design pressure, and then the pressure overcomes the force of the weight and allows the flap to open and allows the air to escape until the pressure comes back down and the weight forces the vent closed again. Option two is using variable relief dampers. To use this solution, we have to use pressure sensors in the pressurized zone. Once the overpressure limit is reached or close to being reached, the relief dampers will open to provide relief. The greater the amount of overpressure, the more the damper opens. Option three is variable supply fans. Much like variable relief dampers, variable supply fans use pressure sensors to detect the pressure. The fans then slow down when the maximum pressure is reached or close to being reached. This is the option we use on our pressurization systems here at Certus. Our system uses machine learning to predict when overpressure may occur and prevents it from happening by acting in advance. Due to options two and three both using pressure sensors, it's important to note the special requirements when using these. As stated in BSEN 12101 part six, variable supply fans or dampers controlled by pressure sensors shall not be used unless the system can achieve over 90% of the new air supply requirements within three seconds of a door being opened or closed. Three seconds isn't a very long time to affect a change in air supply. So that's just a little something to bear in mind if you were to go down the route of using pressure sensors. However, most modern systems are capable of achieving the three second requirement. Finally, you may be wondering what sort of pressure would be considered overpressure. Well, BSEN 12101 part six tells us that in the staircase, we're to achieve a pressure differential of 50 pascals with a tolerance of 10% at the test stage. It also tells us that the maximum overpressure allowed is 60 pascals. Therefore, we'd be expecting overpressure relief to kick in at anything above 55 pascals. I hope you find this insight into overpressure relief and how to achieve it uh, useful. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. If you'd like to see more content like this over the coming weeks and months, please click on that subscribe button. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.